Good morning and good afternoon. First and sixth hour intro to arts. Uh, another week here and unfortunately I am not in. I, uh, I, I apologize for that. There's some matters that are sort of outside of my hands right now, personal things going on that require me to take another day off. And um, since I'm not here, I don't want you guys to be kind of left in the lurch uh, trying to figure out what to do. Um, let me give you guys a little bit of a brief update. Um, from last week, your guys' digital selfie stencil project, the majority of those posters have been printed. Um, during the afternoon portion of the conferences last week, I tried to print as many as I could, um, just kind of in between talking with parents and things like that. And those are left trimmed and on my drafting table. If you guys would like to pick those up at the end of class, uh, you're, you're more than welcome to. Those are yours. Um, I've got a box of rubber bands, too, off to the side. You guys can roll that up and, and, and take that home with you. Um, it's your guys' artwork. It's your guys' stuff that you guys have created. Now, if yours is not in there, it's not because I didn't get it. It's just because I didn't get a chance to, to print it yet. And I'm still in the midst of typing those things in there. So give, bear with me here and, and give me a couple days, and I'll, I'll have everything submitted in there so that you guys can see how this greatly affects your grade in the positive manner. Um, <clears throat> that brings me to explaining exactly what we're going to be doing for our next project, for our next little challenge here. And um, it kind of it's kind of difficult because I wish I was there to be able to walk you guys through the steps and the processes here. Um, but, you know, because I'm not, it, it's not too big of a deal. I think it actually sets up better this way because um, just like every project, there's sort of like this learning section or this, this time period where you guys are taking notes and you're seeing me demonstrate things. And, and jotting some stuff down. And I always tell you guys that, you know, your notes can, well, at least this, this semester, your notes in your sketchbook can be used for the final exam. And I'm going to hold true to that. So um, the notes that you guys will be taking over the next couple of days are very important to make sure that you guys get, um, that is, all of the notes and that is all the work done that goes alongside with the notes. Because the next topic that we're going to be touching and talking about a little bit is color theory. You can see up on my screen here, I've got a split screen. I've got um, a, a, a kind of guided notes worksheet over here on the right hand side. This, this guy right here that um, you guys are going to be using as sort of the templates for your notes. You can you either fill it out on the worksheet or you can write this stuff, this information down inside your sketchbook. But either way, it has to be in your sketchbook to be able to be used. And over here on the left-hand side of my screen, I've got a little video tutorial that I wanted you guys to go through. Now, <clears throat> let, me, let me explain this. Color, color theory is not a hard concept. Matter of fact, it's one of the reasons why if you go onto YouTube or simply to Google and type in what is color theory, you get a million. I, and I'm not joking. I mean, I spent probably a good 10 to 15 minutes watching some of these videos saying to myself, well, I could show them anything and it doesn't really matter, but which ones are going, which, which videos would best suit them for not only taking notes on, on this sheet right here, but also for their final exam with all the questions that pop up in there. Um, I didn't want to give you guys just a long video for the sake of giving you a long video. I wanted to give you a good video. And I believe that this video right here, the color theory basics video that I am going to link actually right below this, this, this introduction is probably the best video to answer any and all of the questions that you guys will have before I return back to class tomorrow. Now, um, I, what I want you to simply do, it's very easy, I'm going to mute this, but I'm going to play it in the background, is I want you guys, as, as you're working through um, this guided notes worksheet over here, I want you guys just to simply kind of take this video for what it is. Imagine that it's, it's a lecture being per performed for you guys in class, and you guys are going to be asked to kind of fill out, you know, the information on your guided notes sheet right here. Now, obviously, you know, in four and a half minutes, there's a lot of information that's going to be presented, so you will have to pause it at certain areas. But this worksheet over here, maybe I'll make this full screen so you guys can see a little better. This worksheet is really to give you guys some information and some ideas as to how colors are made, what color definition actually really is, what color theory actually is, and more importantly, give you guys a visual to some of these words like primary colors or 
tertiary colors, complementary colors, not only be able to identify what they are, but also be able to discuss and have a conversation about what they are. Too many times in, in this lesson, I'll get students who will say, raise their hand when I ask what is a primary color. They'll simply say, oh, well, a primary color is red, blue, or yellow. And I say, well, that's great. But what's the meaning behind a primary color? I'm glad that you know which ones they are on this beautiful circular color wheel right here. But what, what do they mean? What are they? And those are questions that are on the final exam that most of the time people get wrong because all they've done is memorize what the colors are, but not their meanings. Like, why are those the primary ones? Why are the other ones ter tertiary or secondary? So um, this guided notes worksheet is for you guys to fill in. Now, um, I wasn't going to be a mean jerk when I did this in my high school and even in my college classes. They only allowed us to fill out and take notes and making the color wheel with the three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. I'm not that rude. I mean, they make different color, pe color pencils, so you might as well use them. And we're going to start off using color pencils because I think it's the easiest way for you guys to see color theory in action without getting your hands too messy and wasting too, many, too much time gathering materials, gathering supplies, and then, oh, now it's time to leave. So we're going to start off with using just regular color pencils on this. And at your guys' desks, you'll notice I tried to separate them as best as possible, and I even tried to sharpen as many of them as possible. Now, in the back of the room, there is a mechanical uh, or electric pencil sharpener that you guys are more than welcome to use. Um, actually, I have no problems if you guys want to go ahead and go and use that one to sharpen your color pencils as we go. But um, color pencils are soft. They're, they're wax based so when you put for example the color pencil into the, the electric pencil sharpener if you push too hard if you jam it in there sometimes the the color pencil wax will break off and you'll notice when you start trying to sharpen it and you pull it out it's not being sharpened anymore you can kind of flip that upside down and knock that off but my best recommendation to you guys is when you go to sharpen the color pencils don't jam it in there very very hard just kind of softly set it in there let it you know grind it up and sharpen it as best as possible and then you guys will have a pretty decent uh, utensil to work with. All right. Now, <clears throat> I don't expect you guys to finish this whole worksheet, but everything, <clears throat> everything documented that is right here in this four minute and 59 seconds, so almost five minutes worth of a video, everything in that video will answer the questions on this sheet. So I, I'm asking you guys to kind of watch the video carefully, watch it sort of deliberately, and fill in the areas on this guided notes worksheet as best as possible. Now, one thing that I plan on answering when I return tomorrow is, what if my colors are wrong? Or better yet, how come this person's color looks this way, but my color looks this way? Which one's right? And I'll be able to show you guys a really interesting and unique way to kind of mix the colors or at least evaluate the colors, grade the colors as to whether or not they are true or they aren't. Um, if you're kind of wondering where this is going to, um, think back a few years ago, maybe when you guys were in middle school, do you remember the uh, blue, black, or white, gold dress internet sensation that got played out? Um, there's a lot of interesting science behind it that, that can kind of debunk the, that, that, that uh, mystery or that question. So um, I'll, I'll come in to, to, tomorrow and be able to kind of help you guys out with that and give you guys a little bit more understanding with what's going on. And this is all setting up. All of this is setting up for your next project, which revolves around painting with, with color. So, um, you know, watch the video very carefully, watch it very deliberately, fill out as much information in the next couple of minutes that you can, and whatever information you can't, you guys can always fill in tomorrow. These are notes that are supposed to go in your sketchbook and help you out for further projects down the line and actually also be on your final exam in this course. So I will see you guys tomorrow and good luck. Bye.